LGBT positive people. <laughs> right here we have Alan Jones from Radio One. Hello there. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks. What is it about Surrey Uni that you like so much? Because I know you've DJed here quite a few times before, and you're here again tonight. What Surrey Uni gets right is the fact that um, I get to host uh, on teas on the gay night, and not many universities kind of put those two together. And actually, it's always a good, fun night whenever I come down here and do this. Very different to the other kind of student uh, uni kind of nights that I do. It's a bit more fun, a bit more honest and intimate. So it's quite a positive feature of Surrey Uni. Yeah, it's the right crowd. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it's brilliant because I get to play the music that I really like, rather than just focusing too much on what everyone else li likes around me. Because actually, the audience love the kind of music I do, so that's kind of good. So, are you an LGBT? Yes, yes, we are. I, I'm gay, and so is he. Surprise! Have you been to any of the teas nights before? We've been many times. It's one of our favourite nights every month. About twenty of them. What was the question? How many, How many? Oh, last five years? So, um, what do you like doing when you're not busy DJing? Well, normally, up to about uh, two weeks ago, I'd say I just work all the time. But Christmas show has come to an end now, so I've got to find stuff to do. I've got to, you know, I started watching daytime TV for the first time on Monday, and it kind of sucked my soul. It was horrendous. But like antiques roadshow, that kind of thing. It was cash in the attic, and <laughs> that was terrible. But then I'd put on Jeremy Kyle, and I think I could become addicted to Jeremy Kyle. Yeah, it is horribly addictive, that show. It's addictive, and I'm watching it thinking, is this for real? Are these people for real? And also, is he for real? He's so rude. But then I tuned back in the next day to find out if he is as rude all the time, and he really is, and I'm addicted. <laughs> So, um, what did you uh, particularly like about being? What was your like favourite moments from being on a, the Chris Moyle show? Um, oh God, we were there for almost nine years, so there were so many moments. I think the good thing about Radio One is that you get great guests in. So even if it's not on your show, you'll be walking around the building and you'll suddenly see a big guest arrive in the building, and you actually do genuinely get to turn a corner and bump into someone and go, "Oh wow." that's Pink, or you know, that's someone of the cast of Hollyoaks that's just come into Radio 1 for the day. So that's kind of cool. It's not every kind of job that you get to bump into celebrities. It's kind of nice to be able to find out if they're actually nice people as well behind the scenes, because quite often they're very good at turning it on when they're on camera or on the mic. So it's nice to see them behind the scenes to find out if they're actually nice as well. Study hard, play harder, trust. <laughs> Hello, I'm Aled Hayden-Jones from Radio 1 and you're watching Stag TV. Join us next week on Deja Vu Weeks as we interview Sam and the Womp as well as exclusive footage from the Where's Wally and Smurf Night.